Hi everyone, welcome to another CLDR preparation video on LabVIEW Advantage. Please pause the video if necessary to understand the requirements. Let us begin. The question says, what are the values of the indicators numeric 1 and numeric 2 after running this code on a dual core processor? Note that this for loop has been configured to run in parallel, that is, this is the parallelizable for loop. But before we come into the conclusion, we need to identify whether it can run in multiple processors or not. So here, if the previous iterative output affects the current output, then that is not going to be parallelizable in nature. But in this case, if you look very carefully, there is no dependency with the previous iteration, which means this loop is perfectly configured to run in parallel. So when we run this code, this code is going to run in two different processes. So the parallelizable loop is going to execute just like the simple for loop. The only difference is it will execute faster as it is going to separate its processes to separate processors. So the answer is going to be B99. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next CLDR question. Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.